They were students not long ago, but one of their class projects has now led to a change in state law. Three Nashville School of Law grads closed a loophole which has prevented revenge porn cases from moving forward. As News Channel 5's Kyle Haran shows us, they say they were just in the right place at the right time. This change started years ago. It was just a school project at the time. We were asked to do what we is called a rigorous writing project. And the explanation of that was we needed to do legal research. Doni Porteous says she was interning for the Davidson County District Attorney's Office. She's in the middle here. David Aguilera and Logan Elliott were also her classmates. We graduated in virtually April of 2020. So we were the, uh, the COVID class. As an intern, Porteous was helping the office with some of their legal problems. Two cases came across her desk in two days. Both were cases of revenge porn that couldn't be prosecuted. The ease, the access, everybody has a cell phone, everybody makes poor decisions in a moment. In one case, it was a picture of a body part, but the person couldn't be identified. In the other? The second one was a couple who had taken a picture of a sexual act. She was clothed. So again, she didn't fit the letter of the law where it requires the victim, the victim's intimate parts to be showing. And there were no options for sexual activity uh, to be covered in the law. Both cases didn't fit the language of the law, which was passed back in 2016. Fortius made that her school research project and identified the weaknesses in the language in her paper. That was the end of it, on to the next assignment. That's where it stopped until David and I started talking at an event a year later. Aguilera has worked in the state legislature for nine years, but didn't know of the research. When he found out, he brought it before his boss, Senator Jeff Yarborough, who also sponsored the original 2016 legislation. Clearly the intent of what the legislature did in passing the statute was to protect people who might be the victims of revenge porn, but the way in which the language was, or was drafted just didn't provide that protection. So he filed a bill to fix those loopholes. Elliot works for Representative Jason Powell, who co-sponsored the legislation. Together, the trio passed the state law with bipartisan support. I was fortunate to be at the right place at the right time to have these two problems hit, that I could have that lightning bolt moment and say, we need to fix this. You know, this isn't working for the people of the state of Tennessee. So on this Friday, July 1st, that loophole is closed. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle. By the way, revenge porn offenses, they are a misdemeanor in Tennessee. However, there are federal efforts to increase those penalties.